Oh my goodness. Well, let's get to the weather. It's something you need to pay attention to for today. Obviously, it's a cloudy start. Temperatures are coming in right at 66 degrees. We've got dew points in the 60s. It's a little muggy out there, and we're going to continue to hold on to that humidity, and the heat will progress throughout the day. Now, right now, you've got 70 in Petersburg, 67 in West Point, 65 over in Louisa. Farmville, you're coming in at 69. Now, we did have some really light showers earlier. They were misty. Nothing to write home about, but of course, we explained if you've got naturally curly hair, the struggle is real in this type of situation because it does get a little on the poofy side. So we're not seeing anything the way of that intense rain, just a light mist taking place. However, this afternoon we are going to see a system push through and I do look to see some strong to severe storms to take place. We've got that marginal risk pushing in. That's for areas north of Petersburg, including portions of the northern neck, middle peninsula over in Louisa, all the way up into past DC. Now marginal risk, even though it's a lesser of them all, you got to remember our ground is saturated, so it's not going to take a lot of wind to cause some trees to fall down. Now here is the future track. Remember, this is not the gospel, but it gives us a really good indication. It has a system pushing in from our west, moving eastward. Y'all know a lot of that will break up, but then I do look for it to push back together. And you notice how it has this line right out in front of it. That's indicating that we will have some gusty winds ahead of the system along with within it. Remember a few weeks ago when we had something similar? So we are looking at a very similar type setup. So please keep that in mind right around into Louisa looking to be around five o'clock and then it'll continue to ease its way into the northern neck middle peninsula. But notice how this model continues to hold strong to that outer line that is indicating some pretty gusty winds associated. That's going to quickly push its way out. As we head into the overnight hours, I don't really look to see too much, maybe an isolated shower. But as far as the thunderstorm activity, that's not looking to be in place. As you go into your Wednesday, we'll see another chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms Wednesday evening. That is thanks to a cold front. Cold front really not going to do too much temperature wise, but it will dry us out and that's going to help out Thursday along with Friday. But I want to draw your attention to what's happening down to our far south. Models are indicating that we've got this system that potentially could hang out in the Gulf of Mexico and then push its way closer along the east coast as we head on into Memorial Day weekend. So keep that in mind. If that does push out, of course, that's going to bring some tropical characteristics and we know what happens. We get some heavy rain already pushing in 84 degrees today, 85 tomorrow. Remember both days we've got that chance for some strong storms to take place. Main threat gusty winds because when you put that with that saturated soil, it's easy for things to fall over. Rob Reba. So true. All right. Thanks to Kitty. Hey, tonight on CBS 6 starting at 8, it's two hours of.